In our lesson for today, we are going to learn about notations for solutions. The values that make equations and inequalities true, they are called solutions. There are a variety of ways to express solutions to equations and inequalities. A collection of answers or solutions is referred to as a set. The items contained within a set are called elements. Sets can be described with a variety of notations such that inequality notation, the set builder notation, and the interval notation. But before we are going to practice with them and understand what exactly are they, first of all, let's remember what is that an equation and what is an inequality. So both of them, equalities, inequalities, they represent a comparison between two expressions. So we can write expression and another expression. If these two expressions, they have the same value, between them we put equals, and together they form an equation. But not always the two expressions, they have the same value. So then if we have expression, so the two expressions, and these two expressions, they do not have the same value, then we can say greater than or less than, greater than or equals, or it can be less than or equals. Remember that always inequalities, the solution, it has to be graphed on the number line. If we move on, number, on the number line in the left side more and more, then we'll get less and less values and we will go, we will approach, go into the negative infinity. If we move right more and more, we will approach the positive infinity. On the number line, if between the two expressions, we will find one of these two symbols greater than, less than, the symbol used on the number line, it will be a small circle, open circle. See, it is not closed inside. And this is called an open interval. In writing for the open interval, we will use the brackets. If we have between the expressions greater than or equals, less than or equals on the number line, the symbol, it will be a small circle filled up, like this one. And then interval, it will be called closed. The symbol in writing a closed interval, it will be the squared brackets. They can be squared on both of the sides or only one side. And for the open interval, the bracket, it can be in both of the sides open or only in one of them. Let's see. So, x is greater than 50. This it's represented, this writing represents the inequality notation that we can easily answer the others, the rest of them. The best that we can do is to draw the number line. And as we said, always the solution for the inequality, graph it on it, plot the value on the number line. Now we see, here we have the value 50 and it is not equals. As we said before, if there is not equals on the number line, I will use an open circle, small circle. And under it, I will put the value of 50. If I go from 50 left, there I will approach the negative infinity and move from 50 into right, there we will approach the positive infinity. The x values that satisfy that inequality, they are greater than 50, so from 50 right, and we will shade this part of the graph. This part of the graph, it is called interval. How can we write this interval? As we see here, 
we have the inequality notation. The other notation, the set builder notation, uses the bracelets. So I'll open the bracelet into the left side. The, in the inequality, the variable it is x, so I put x, a small vertical bar, which it is read such that x, I copy the inequality greater than 50, and we can write x included in real numbers. If it is about the interval notation, this we are going to get it exactly from the graph. So from where we shaded. And we will put the values from left to right as we read and write in English language. So I have in the left side, I started to shade from 50 and I ended shading into the positive infinity. Always infinity, it is open because we do not know where starts and where ends. The 50, we do not have equals and from the graph it is open interval. So I will put the bracket here, open bracket. And that's all. Last try, one more. So inequality notation, this is the inequality notation. As we said, first of all, I'm going to graph the number line. I draw the number line into the left side, negative infinity, and the right side, positive infinity. On the number line, I will plot the value given here for x. It is given less than or equal, so this circle, I will fill it up. And under it, I put the value of negative 4. x, it is less than negative 4, so I will shade from negative 4 exactly. And going less and less and less and less, I go to negative infinity. The set builder notation, it will be, open the bracelet, x, the variable x, such that x, it is less than or equals to negative 4. And x is included in real numbers. If it is about the interval notation we said, take it from the graph direct. So from left to right, we have negative infinity comma to negative 4. As we said before, infinity, if it is positive or negative, always open. And negative 4 from the graph, it is closed. And that's all done. So this represents the interval notation. Let's try a little bit more. So draw the number line. Negative infinity, positive infinity. On the number line, we will plot the values we found here for x. So from left to right, we do not have equals. So open into 8, open into 99. And now, x, it is less than 99, and x, it is greater than 8. The two intervals, they intersect here. So, here, between the 8 and 99, there we are going to find the solutions for x. In set builder notation, we can write, bracelet, the variable it is x, such that, copy the inequality, comma, x included into the real numbers. The last, it's the interval notation, which we said will take it direct from the graph where we have shaded. From left to right, we started to shade from 8 into 99. Both of them, they are open, so the bracket, it will be bra open bracket on both of the sides. Let's try more. Again, first of all, graph the number line, negative infinity, positive infinity. The values for x, we will plot them on the number line from left to right. We in increasing order. We see 0. 
is not equals, it's only less than zero, so it will be opened in zero. We have greater than or equals 100, so we have the equals, and this we will close it, we will shade it all, and here put the 100, and now we shade. X, it's less than zero, so from zero, less. And greater than equals to 100, so from 100 exactly and more. This is the graph. In set builder notation, the variable it is x, such that these two statements, we can write them into one statement. So we put x less than 0, greater than or equals to 100, such that x is included into the real numbers. The OR, so this X, we can find it in this interval or we can find it in this interval. In another way, we can write the set builder notation X such that if we want to keep it in this way, X, it is less than zero or this is the symbol for OR, union, it is called union, X greater than or equals to 100 and x, it's included in real numbers. So both of them, the set builder notation, both of them, they are correct. In interval notation, we go back to the graph, and from left to right, we write the intervals shaded. So we shaded here first, which started in negative infinity to zero. Infinity, always it's open. 0, it is open to, or 100 to positive infinity. Infinity opened, 100, it is closed, and we will close. This is the interval notation. As we said, first of all, we graph. Let's put it here, the number line, negative infinity left, positive infinity right, the two values, we will plot them in counting order from left to right on the number line. So we have equals y, it is greater than or equals to negative 4, so I will put it closed, negative 4 because of the equals, negative 1. It is opened. We do not have the equals on it. And now we read. Y, it is less than negative 1. So we go to the left side. And Y, it's greater than negative 4. So from negative 4 right, the two intervals, they intersect here in the middle. So the values of Y, they will be between negative 4 to negative 1. The set builder notation, bracelet. The variable it is y, so we put y such that y it is less than negative 1, greater than or equals negative 4, y it's included in real numbers. If it is about the interval notation, as we said, we take it direct from the graph where we shaded. So we shaded started from negative 4 into negative 1. Negative 4, it is closed, and negative 1, it is open. Again, first of all, we draw the number line. The two values, we will plot them on the number line, negative infinity, positive infinity. In the left side, we have equals negative 45, so this is going to be closed. And we have greater 86. 86 is not equal, so we'll put it open, 86. And now we have to shade x greater than 86. So from 86 into the positive infinity. And less than negative 45, from negative 45 into the negative infinity. The set builder notation, it will be bracelet x such that we can write as it is here, 
or instead of or, we can put the symbol union, or we can write all in one statement, and me, I will prefer to write it one statement, x less than or equals negative 45, greater than 86, and x included into the real numbers. In interval notation, it is called interval notation, and we already shaded the intervals on the number line, so we are going to take it from here, yes? So from left to right, negative infinity to negative 4.5, infinity always open, the negative 45, it is closed, or 86 to positive infinity. Infinity always opened, and 86 it's opened to. Thank you.